threat may have passed, but the ordeal is far from over. More than 24 hours since Cyclone Alarm slammed into the top end coast, several communities remain cut off. Power out, phone lines down with no water or sewerage. A state of emergency has been declared and response teams are moving in as the Territory works to recover in the wake of Alarm's fury. It tore through the Territory with unforgivable force. 260 kilometre an hour winds leaving a trail of destruction that won't be forgotten. Today, the cleanup begins. The focus is on getting that power and water and those essential services and the homes uh, you know, re repaired to be able to be resided in. Emergency response teams gathered at Darwin Airport this morning. GPS, everyone's got a GPS. Their job, to assess the damage. We expect it to be wet, um, uh, hot um, and messy um, and the teams will do the best that they can. The damage is widespread and significant. Homes have been lost, services and infrastructure battered, but somehow no one was injured in the cyclone. We've managed to escape uh, no one being significantly uh, in injured or any fatalities at all, which is quite remarkable given the fact that it was a 260 kilometre uh, winds, a uh, category four cyclone that crossed the uh, the coast. Ramanginning and Millingimby suffered direct hits, but despite missing the eye of the storm, it was Galawinku on Elko Island that suffered the worst damage. A state of emergency has been declared and relief funding made available. Everyone is working tirelessly um, and hard and they're all doing a great job um, and we'll continue to uh, support the communities the best of our ability. The new threat is flooding, with a watch in place for much of Arnhem Land and a warning at Beswick. And we encourage residents of Beswick uh, to be mindful and to be safe and put in place your uh, flood, uh, flood kits uh, so that you uh, put the interests of yourselves and your family and the community uh, at, uh, at, um, at, as first priority. With the immediate threat now past, some of the Goulburn Island residents who were evacuated to Darwin have finally been allowed to start returning home. 87 were airlifted out today, with the remainder to return home tomorrow and on Monday. But the centre remains on standby in case it's needed again in the coming weeks. Amy Colbert, Nine News.